It looks like 2019 is the year of nostalgia for strategy games. We've got the Age of Empires 2 remaster, Command & Conquer is getting a rework, and games like Planet Zoo just remind us of our childhood favorites. It's time to add another, Railroad Corporation. Railroad Corporation is currently in development by Corby Games and published by Iceberg Interactive. This simulation strategy game lets you relive the pioneering spirit of the golden age of steam by establishing a railroad empire across 19th century North America. It has some major Sid Meier's railroad vibes in its resource asset system with a good flair of railroad tycoon from way back in the day. They released a gameplay video a couple of days ago and I thought I'd go over a few of the features that really had me ready to play this game. And just a forewarning, I haven't played Railroad Empire, which came out a couple of years ago, so if I mention a new mechanic that's actually in that game, I had no idea, you shouldn't judge me. As always, let's dive in. First off, I think it's a pretty cool spin on the Railroad Empire genre that you don't start out as the owner of the company you're building. You are in control, no doubt about it, yet that doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want. In the beginning, it looks like you're just able to set up rail lines and work the logistical side of managing the trains. On completion of mission-specific scenarios, you'll gain experience and eventually unlock other responsibilities within the company, such as running other departments, building actual buildings in towns and cities, as well as establish contracts to obtain better financial deals on certain resources. This type of system is a pretty smart way to ease the player into everything you can do inside the game. From the looks of it, it'd be pretty overwhelming to be in charge of everything right off the bat. In creating this unlockable management system, it gives the player time to understand one concept before another layer is thrown on top of it. Again, I mentioned that I haven't played Railroad Empire, so this may not be new to some of you, yet the train and rail management side of this game is also something I liked about the gameplay reveal. In Railroad Corporation, you have a variety of stats for each train. Max speed, max pulling mass are given for most train simulators, yeah, we even have fuel consumption, maximum mileage, and the age of your train to consider now. Not knowing how quickly technology can be researched, it's possible we'll have to completely decommission a train on its route should it max out on age and replace it with a new one. It's a small thing to think about, but it's something to consider, and I like the idea behind it. One of the bigger mechanics of this game appears to revolve around ways to boost or buff certain aspects of your company. This is accomplished through several avenues. Hired employees all come with their specialties in certain areas, Researching tech can give you better trains or cheaper materials. Your personal experience gained through finishing missions unlocks portfolio boosts as well. And one of the really interesting ways is through legislation, convincing politicians to pass laws that can specifically benefit your empire or hinder your competitions. Lastly, there's multiplayer. No competitive train simulator would be complete without one. Multiplayer will be in a beta phase on early access release, and it'd be pretty fun to test your skills against other players in this type of a game. It really brings back the land multiplayer days of good old Sid Meier's Railroads for sure. Railroad Corporation isn't looking to be a hardcore serious strategy game, and that's okay. It still looks like a solid train sim, and I'm very much looking forward to playing it. Railroad Corporation will release on early access on May 27th, but if you're looking into getting some other train simulation games before then, be sure to check the link in the description for a list on Games Planet. Any games bought via that link will benefit the channel. I hope you enjoyed this quick snippet into the upcoming game. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out my Discord and various social media platforms. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.